So tonight, while we're doing evening chores, Frankie, there's this one bull on the other side of the pasture that Frankie's taken to feeding. And he's got three little buddies with him tonight. Yeah. Hi, babies. <laughs> he wanted to try to get this tree, so I climbed up here and got the branches off of him. Oh my so god. He could eat off of so cute. Nice. Say, excuse you. <laughs> that was a lot, mister. I don't know, guys. This is might be the sweetest bull in existence. It is. Like, he's so, he's so mellow. He'll let me come up here and just pet him. It's not face. Hey babies. You know what time it is? Linda, it's time to put you up. Let's get some evening chores on. Hey guys, welcome to TCR. Sid here, thanks for clicking on the video. If you haven't done so already, make sure you hit that subscribe button. Tonight I'm gonna to take you through my evening chores, which look pretty similar to my morning chores, but uh, a lot of you have asked for this video, so here we go. Random, random bird just chilling out. So as per the usual, they've destroyed their kiddie pool today. Time to dump that and refill it. Chickens love this kiddie pool, but so do Linda and Neville. This is their preferred drinking source, so I really have to make sure I dump it out every day uh, after the birds have also been in there. Huh, because you're such a rebel. You know, are you guys ready for bed? This time of year, these guys love these leaves, so I usually just do this to have them follow me. Come on. I'll come back over here and give them some more hay in a minute. In the mornings, I usually muck out all their pens, but by the evening, this one's actually not too bad. They did make a little bit of a mess of their hay. That one, the, with the pigs in there, definitely more of a mess, but I did muck it out this morning. I try to muck it out in the morning every day. It just makes it a little bit easier, start out the day clean and fresh, um, and they're really busy in the morning trying to eat when I, when I feed them, so it just makes it easier. I'm down to milking Caroline every other day right now, so we won't be doing that as part of the routine this evening. But now, we need to go get everybody's feed so we can get them locked up and fed for the evening. So let's go do that. We're gonna go over to the cargo container to get some feed for these guys. fermented grain and of course evening time they don't get quite as much as they do in the morning to kind of graze on all day since most of this time they're gonna be sleeping now it's oh my god okay kids all right all right I know let's go no oh my god tweedle tweedle bee tweedle bum bye bye oh my goodness 
a little bit lighter than the morning routine. I would normally get their hay rations ready for the day in the morning um, so that I can fill up their hay feeder and their hay bag for the lambs. In the evenings, as long as they have some left, I don't give them any more. And I did check, they both have, both the goats and the lambs still have hay in there. And these guys won't get fed like the, their normal feed. They've been kind of, they've been kind of uh, grazing all day on everything. But uh, we do want to go ahead and get them locked up. So this is a good way to kind of get them to follow me all and like get them in there. this evening to this they pushed this out I think the turkeys did this um, so there's a couple spots like that so I'm gonna grab the uh, staple gun and put a band-aid on this for now until we get ready to demolish this entire thing and redo it let's go give some of this to Linda and Neville Water. They still have hay in there. Um, they've just got a little, little bit of a snacky, snacky there. Oh, look who's ready for food. <laughs> All right, let's go take care of their water and their food. Watch out, I'll go in there and flip it. Uh, it's about broke, so I need to get that fixed. Gotta get a new nozzle, but it works. It's still kind of limping along. So I'm gonna go ahead while he's distracted over here eating, because sometimes Neil likes to make things weird. I'm just gonna go ahead and hop over this gate. Oh, no, he's undistracted now. <laughs> okay, come here, buddy. Yep, come here. A little bit. There we go. Water going. Physical boy. I know, you're just weird. I know. Pardon me if I mucked out this pen this morning. It's like, doesn't look like I did, but I swear. Oh, there's the water. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 yeah.
And then of course my big lug over here, the most food motivated boy in the world. He's always happy when it's dinner time. All right, go turn off that hose. This is Caroline's favorite thing in the world. And she will stare at me and wait at the gate until I give her some. I know you want, I give you one. I give you one. It's your rude. Come here. You just didn't see it. Come on. Good job. Good job. All right. Got to turn off the hose now. So these guys still have food and water. I will refill their water in the morning and of course replenish the food, but I can see from here they still have some in their pen. It's back in the cargo container so that it's all ready for tomorrow morning. I've got my bales of hay back there, of course, and some different feeds for the quail that I mix together with my uh, barrel braids. So now we go around and collect eggs. Now these are my stragglers. You notice I got a couple roosters and a couple raisin hens. They just refuse to go up at night. Um, I've given up on them. They were from a different hatch group and they legitimately will find ways to escape. Hamster! Oh, the hamsters are out. They're sneaky. Yeah, they're. Little egg stealing. Mm -hmm. One in there. Let me go look in the back corner. They've been liking to lay in the back corner lately. Is there any back here, girls? Yep, I see one. Just one, though. Definitely after this heat wave, they're definitely slowing down on their eggs. So only a few, whereas about a week and a half ago, I was getting about two dozen eggs a day. I also, I have my meat chickens out on the pasture. And then I have some in the brooder, but they're to the point now where you do 12 hours on food, 12 hours off essentially. So they don't have to be fed again this evening. So you're missing out on that part of the chore too. But just know that it happened this morning and it will happen again tomorrow morning. Let's see if we got any quail eggs today or if the squirrels beat us to it. One little quail egg, one sad little quail egg. So that's a quick little update on my evening chores version. Usually, it kind of depends. Sometimes I'll go through and refill all the waters at night. Sometimes I'll do it in the morning for the big poultry waters. So probably they've got like half left and these are like multi, multi gallon waters. So like one of them's like 20 gallons. So uh, I think tomorrow I will just top them all off in the morning and I'm gonna go ahead and uh, you know, have everybody's food ready, get all that squared away. Everybody will have a good night. Everybody's locked up that needs to be locked up. Everybody's got hay. Everybody's got fresh water. And they're all good to go until tomorrow morning. So that's an evening wrap up here at the Crouch Ranch. Thanks for watching, guys.